Good morning, we are at 3630 Alsace Drive. This is Charles with 360 Real Estate, investing in partnership with Gear Realty. All right, we've got another turnkey opportunity for you guys today. Split level ranch. When you walk in, you can see there's new flooring, painting, everything throughout. So uh, pretty standard in your split level ranches, you walk into um, an entryway with the main living area. So this is kind of a combo great room that would be a uh, dining and living all in one if the occupant so chose to do that. And then again, as typical, you'll see the uh, kitchen is off to the side here. <clears throat> so uh, walking in here to the kitchen, the cabinetry has been resurfaced. It looks like some new uh, poles, et cetera, on there, new-ish or brand new or new-ish appliances. Countertops are in good condition here. We've got the dishwasher and the range and microwave included. Here's some more cabinetry in here. The refrigerator is not included in this. The sink is in good condition. Uh, newer windows, as you can see. And then you can see here on the back, again, new um, sliding glass door here uh, towards the backyard. So lots of stuff in good condition here. If I'm looking throughout on the ceiling walls as we always do in these homes. I'm not seeing any concerns. I'm not seeing a lot of patchwork either. So that is, a, is really nice as well. Typically, if you had some damage, there would be some patchwork. There's a little bit of something right here, but again, nothing that's throwing me off. So I think structurally we're in, uh, so far anyway, in, in pretty good condition here. All right, again, split level. What we'll do, we'll go to the upper portion of the split level first, so that you guys can see what is technically above grade. And again, as is with most of these, bedrooms are gonna be up here. So this first bedroom right off here to the left, about a 10 by 10 with the closet. So it's a small room but certainly more than adequate for a house of this size. Resurfaced throughout, new carpeting, etc. cetera. Um, so overall, I'm just in good condition as I'm walking through. I'm not really feeling any concerns from a flooring perspective to this point. Second bedroom here. It's a tad bit larger, but this one's probably about a 10 by 12. And with the closet, we've got some, you know, resurfacing. You know, not the greatest paint jobs in here, but not bad. Uh, so I'm seeing a seam right here, or might have been some patchwork done. Could be just normal settlement. Nothing, though, again, as I'm walking through that I'm feeling on the floor that's causing too much concern. You can see the angle there on the door, so it's not plumb with everything. Um, again, just normal settlement probably. And the third bedroom back here. As every, every get with every bedroom, it gets larger. So this one has a double closet. Larger room for sure. Again, in good condition, new windows, new carpets. Everything feels very solid. Um, access to uh, the bathroom from this third bedroom, direct access to the bathroom. And then your other access point to, that, to the bathroom is from the hallway here for the other two. So this bathroom will serve uh, its purpose for all three bedrooms up here. But again, resurfaced, good, you know, good job here on the tiling. Um, probably the original tub that's in here, but some new fixtures and stuff. All right, we'll go downstairs now. 
back to the entry level floor and then around here through the kitchen is the basement now of course it's called a basement because it is partially below grade uh, so this would be another living area uh, down here got your cinder block walls nothing unusual about this area at all nice finished job for sure on the property all of these uh, would function as um, for emergency egress um, so could you turn this into a fourth bedroom with some modifications absolutely you could I don't know what kind of value that would add to it necessarily so we want to take a look at that but it is something that could be done um, putting in a closet somewhere in a corner or something along those lines um, and then maybe taking a space in here or even a piece of it. I'm gonna have to look at the floor plan a little bit more to see if there's a, uh, what you would do for uh, the bathroom and everything down here. Um, so it's a possibility, something we can certainly explore. Um, obviously they had the opportunity to do that when they redid the house and did not choose to do so. So that should tell you something as well. The utilities or the mechanicals in the house look to be either new or in really good condition here. This this furnace here has got to be new um, or <laughs> very gently used. Um, lots of work in here is, is new, um, really in good shape here. Okay, so there is a bathroom here. Okay, so again, maybe some it lends itself to this portion here. So here's your bathroom. Let me just walk in here, okay? It's a shower, it's really small and everything, right? Um, and again, remember, because we're below grade, it's not going to be marketed ever um, as a an additional bedroom because it is technically below grade. But from a functional standpoint, um, certainly you put a closet in here, um, it's something that could potentially add value. So you take this and possibly close it off, put your door here and open this portion up um, You know, put a wall, something like that to, for the um, vents, etc. cetera. Um, and then you could have it directly off of your, um, the bedroom or room down here for your bed, for bathroom access. So uh, ideas, right? Just potentially, again, I don't know if it's worth it to redo it because of all the work that's been done on here, but we just like to explore options for you guys um, to see what's available. Now, the thing to note about this, as you probably are already asking yourself, because I am right now, where's the bathroom for the main level? Well, that is the bathroom for the main level. So therefore you would be sharing, um, that bedroom would be sharing, if it were turned into a bathroom, would be sharing it with the main floor of the house. All right, let's go out here into the garage. Pretty standard one car garage for this style of home. You have your attic access right here. There's a scuttle upstairs for additional attic access. It's not insulated out here. Wouldn't be difficult to do, um, but we do have some built-in shelves. All right, we'll take a look around the exterior of the home. My guess is it's gonna be in pretty good condition judging off the rest of the inside of the house. All right, the siding here, aluminum, vertical, and some horizontal siding. Looks like it's been resurfaced, painting, etc. Brick here on the exterior for the basement side is nice. Not seeing anything of major concern. Don't be concerned about the what you're seeing is wavy lines there on the exterior brick here. That is the style. Okay, so this door, we'll walk around the other side, but that door right there is that back entrance where you saw guys saw the 
bathroom and all the mechanicals, that door there. Um, so it does walk out into the backyard as well. So again, it's, it, it's not gonna list as a four bedroom if you were to convert that, but it's certainly something that could generate additional value, both from a retail perspective as well as um, from a rental perspective. Um, just want to check out the ROI on it for sure. Okay, so the overhang here, as you can see, um, the gaps in here mostly for vents, ventilation. We've got some mesh in here to keep um, critters out, etc. So we'll want to make sure that that's kept in good condition. Back of the house here. Things look to be in, in, in good condition as well. Roof looks good, if not new, certainly newer. Fenced in backyard with a little storage shed here in the back. Okie doke, let us know if you have any questions, if you got interest in this one. Again, this is a great example of a, something completely turnkey for you guys or maybe something with a tad bit of modifications could even generate extra revenue be sure to subscribe to the page thanks for your time